Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's Word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. Yesterday, in our reading from Isaiah, we heard the Lord describe the fall of Babylon, God, the enemy of God's people that had taken his people into exile. Today, in chapter 48 of Isaiah's prophecy, we're going to hear God calling his people, Israel, out of exile in Babylon. Listen to this, house of Jacob, those who are called by the name Israel and have descended from Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord and declare the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness. For they are named after the holy city and lean on the God of Israel. His name is the Lord of armies. I declared the past events long ago. They came out of my mouth. I proclaimed them. Suddenly I acted and they occurred. Because I know that you are stubborn and your neck is iron and your forehead bronze. Therefore I declared to you long ago. I announced it to you before it occurred. So you could not claim my idol caused them. My carved image and cast idol control them. You have heard it. Observe it all. Will you not acknowledge it? From now on, I will announce new things to you, hidden things that you have not known. They have been created now and not long ago, and you have not heard of them before today, so you could not claim I already knew them. You have never heard. You have never known. For a long time, your ears have not been open. For I knew that you were very treacherous, and were known as a rebel from birth. I will delay my anger for the sake of my name, and I will restrain myself for your benefit and for my praise, so that you will not be destroyed. Look, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. I will act for my own sake, indeed my own, for how can I be defiled? I will not give my glory to another. Listen to me, Jacob, and Israel, the one called by me. I am he. I am the first. I am also the last. My own hand founded the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I summoned them, they stood up together. All of you assemble and listen. Who among the idols has declared these things? The Lord loves him. He will accomplish his will against Babylon and his arm will be against the Chaldeans. I, I have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I have brought him, and he will succeed in his mission. Approach me and listen to this. From the beginning, I have not spoken in secret. From the time anything existed, I was there. And now the Lord God has sent me and his spirit. This is what the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, says. I am the Lord your God who teaches you for your benefit, who leads you in the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands, then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would have been as countless as the sand and your offspring and the offspring of your body like its grains. Their name would not be cut off or eliminated from my presence. Leave Babylon. Flee from the Chaldeans. Declare with a shout of joy. Proclaim this. Let it go out to the end of the earth. Announce, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. They did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow from the rock for them. He split the rock and water gushed out. There is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. Yesterday, we saw the great prostitute, Babylon the Great, seated on a scarlet beast, representing another, or another representation of the great enemies of God's people. Today, in Revelation chapter 18, we're going to hear about the fall of Babylon the Great. After this, I saw another angel with great authority coming down from heaven and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. 
he called out in a mighty voice, it has fallen, Babylon the great has fallen. She has become a home for demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, and a haunt for every unclean and despicable beast. For all the nations have drunk the wine of her sexual immorality, which brings wrath. The kings of the earth have committed sexual immorality with her, and the merchants of the earth have grown wealthy from her sensuality and excess. Then I heard another voice from heaven. Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins or receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Pay her back the way she also paid, and double it according to her works. In the cup in which she mixed, mix a double portion for her. As much as she glorified herself and indulged her sensual and excessive ways, give her that much torment and grief. For she says in her heart, I sit as a queen, I am not a widow, and I will never see grief. For this reason, her plagues will come in just one day death and grief and famine. She will be burned up with fire because the Lord God who judges her is mighty. The kings of the earth who have committed sexual immorality and shared her sensual and excessive ways will weep and mourn over her when they see the smoke from her burning. They will stand far off in fear of her torment saying, woe, woe, the great city, Babylon, the mighty city, for in a single hour your judgment has come. The merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her, because no one buys their cargo any longer. Cargo of gold, silver, jewels, and pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, and scarlet, all kinds of fragrant wood products, objects of ivory, objects of expensive wood, brass, iron, and marble cinnamon, spice, incense, myrrh, and frankincense, wine, olive oil, fine flour and grain, cattle and sheep, horses and carriages, and slaves, human lives. The fruit you craved has left you. All your splendid and glamorous things are gone. They will never find them again. The merchants of these things who became rich from her will stand far off in fear of her torment weeping and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, dressed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, jewels, and pearls, or in a single hour such fabulous wealth was destroyed. And every shipmaster, seafarer, the sailors, and all who do business by sea stood far off as they watched the smoke from her burning, and kept crying out, Who was like the great city? They threw dust on their heads and kept crying out, weeping and mourning. Woe, woe, the great city, where all those who have ships on the sea became rich from her wealth. For in a single hour she was destroyed. Rejoice over her, heaven, and you saints, apostles, and prophets, because God has pronounced on her the judgment she passed on you. Then a mighty angel picked up a stone, like a large millstone, and threw it into the sea, saying, In this way, Babylon, the great city, will be thrown down violently and never be found again. The sound of harpists, musicians, flutists, and trumpeters will never be heard in you again. No craftsman of any trade will ever be found in you again. The sound of a mill will never be heard in you again. The light of a lamp will never shine in you again. And the voice of a groom and bride will never be heard in you again. All this will happen because your merchants were the nobility of the earth, because all the nations were deceived by your sorcery. In her was found the blood of prophets and saints, and of all those slaughtered on the earth. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.